In this lesson, we're going to look at adding our duct curve and our duct connector MEP snaps to our right click shortcut object snap menu. If you look at the shortcut menu now for object snaps, you'll see that there are none of the MEP snaps are listed on here. And if we go down to our settings for our MEP snaps, you can see that uh, there's several here that are available that are just not added on to the right click menu. And we can very easily and quickly do that. We start doing that by going into our custom user interface, which is started by the CUI command. And once there, we can type in snap on our command list here just to see which object snaps are available. And you see the list of them. And that will also give us an idea of how to create one. So let's look at uh, the snap for a pipe connector, which I created earlier. And you can see the general setup on how to do this. We give it a name, we give it a display name, and then we give it a macro. So to create a duck connector snap, we first need to create a new command. Then we need to give that command a name, and following the naming convention already established, I'm going to call it snap decon, and my display connect my display command is going to be duck connector, and my macro is going to be underscore dcon, and for a image. I am just going to give it, for a connector, I'm just going to give it a, a center. Um, you can create a, uh, a custom image if you like. Um, I'm just going to use the default ones here. So that's our duct connector. And now we need to add our, a duct curve. So I will call this snap DCUR. Our command name, this our command display name is going to be duct curve and our macro is going to be an underscore D C U R and for an image I am just going to choose the tangent then I'm going to hit apply so now we can come down here and look at our the two commands that we just created and we can filter out all the snaps by typing snap in the command list and you will see our duck connector and duck curve. If I come down and look at the other ones, I can see that it follows the basic naming convention of what I've done before. So now how do we get that into the right click menu? And to do that, we expand our shortcut menus and then expand our object snap menu. Then we just take our two commands that we had our duct connector and duct curve and we drag them up to where we want them. In this case I want them at the top. Now to bring them over here you'll see that I now get a new line over here called display name and I don't want the display to say snap D curve I want it to say duct curve and the same thing for duct connector I would rather have it say duct connector I then hit OK. We then come back to our model space and we go ahead and start the duck add command. And without pressing anything, you can see that we get a bunch of different snaps here. You know, but what if I want to isolate just the duck curve? So now I can hit my control, right click, and select duck curve, and it will only show the duck curve snap. So I had that duct. And there we go. If I want to add a new duct on a duct connector, it's the same process. I isolate the duct connector, put in a piece of duct, and there you go. And that's how we add new commands to our right click shortcut menus.